Let Mehmet Olu, who joins us now from the Turkish city of Bursa, he is the general manager at the Gorkman Space and Aviation Training Center. Halit, I would just want to get your reaction to this very historic moment for Turkey here. Well, it was an amazing and very smooth launch indeed. Uh, it's, uh, as it was stated, as the 71st uh, uh, successful mission, and it was going very smooth so far. The all engine cutouts were great, the separation were great, and uh, the landing were great. And uh, from now on, we are just expecting for the next term for the Turkish 5A deployment, and it's long journey uh, until the final destination uh, to start its operation in a couple of months. And talk to us a little bit about uh, the satellites that Turkey already has right now orbiting. Uh, at the moment, uh, this will be, uh, because it's almost in the orbit, this is the fourth uh, telecommunication satellites of Turksat. So currently three satellites are operating in 42 and 50 east uh, geolocation. Uh, other than that, we have three uh, remote uh, sensing satellites, two used by the Turkish military uh, air forces, uh, Gürtük 1 and Gürtük 2 provides high resolution uh, satellite images uh, for both military and civilian use other than that, we have also uh, another satellite called Rosat gives a uh, 7.5 meter resolution satellite images. Uh, so uh, the, the, these are uh, six uh, satellites actively used by uh, Turkey, and this is the seven satellites finally. So how does Turksat 5A settle into orbit? Uh, so from now on, the, the Turkish uh, Turksat 5A deployment will gonna happen in the 33 minutes after the launch, and from now on, uh, it will continue in its orbit, but uh, it will make uh, many turns around the uh, Earth uh, orbit. So we are calling a kind of kick. Uh, so it starts to turn around the Earth. And uh, in, in some points, we are giving more thrusters in some points and making this elliptical orbit bigger, bigger, bigger until we come to 36,000 kilometer where uh, the Turksat will stabilize itself uh, after four, and, uh, four months and uh, 20 days later on. Uh, this is a long journey and uh, it seems from now on it will go smooth, hopefully. All right. Uh, quickly before we go, what's on Turkey's roadmap in the coming years? Uh, we have finally a Turkey Space Agency, and the Turkey Space Agency will be the decision maker body for our roadmap. Uh, it continues its strategy making process for a long time, and uh, we will be happy to hear very soon a uh, Turkish roadmap. Uh, apart from that, uh, image uh, and Turksat 6A uh, will be uh, produced in the new future uh, to, with the national sources, actually, with the national uh, engineers will be building those. Many small satellites are coming up, but other than that... We're going to have to leave uh, it there. Halit, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Halit Miramat Olu, we're out of time right now. Thank you so much for being with us with for this historic moment. Stay with us here on TRT World.